Hi, Andy Biggs here for Arizona's 5th Congressional District. The House of Representatives just voted out uh, a $900 billion National Defense Authorization Act. That bill um, is a mess of money going to the, the Department of Defense, uh, and this is an agency, a department actually, that has not ever passed a full general audit. And I uh, had a provision that if it was in there would have required them to pass an audit. There's a provision in there that says if all they have to do is conduct an audit, and if they conduct an audit, whether they pass or fail, they still get full funding. And this is part of a problem here, and it's a pattern uh, with Congress. So let me give you some other things that were in this bill or were not in this bill. For instance, uh, they did put a hiring freeze on DEI officers, but they didn't eliminate existing DEI offices programs uh, or personnel. Uh, the bill didn't include Representative Van Dyne of Texas's amendment defunding the abortion travel fund. So we still will pay for abortion tourism within the military. The bill did not include Representative Roy uh, from Texas, his amendment to defund six climate change executive orders for the military. The bill includes the Coordinator for Afghan Relocation Efforts Authorization Act. Uh, this bill codifies the CARE program without any reform uh, to the program, which has been dangerously abused. There's no language in the bill that addresses service members who were separated for refusing the COVID vaccine. There's no rehabilitation for them and restoration of their back pay or their status. Uh, this also does not prevent paying for transgender surgeries or services for uh, service members or their adult dependents. So there's a lot going on with this bill. The, the, the most compelling reason was to support it was the pay raise, which I have supported historically. But all of these other problems, together with the failure of the audit, just couldn't bring me to vote yes for the bill. So I voted no on this bill. Um, and the reality is, is we have a structural deficit in excess of two and a half trillion dollars every year, which adds to our national debt. Um, you probably ha need to have an audit uh, on this Department of Defense. And we want our military men and women to be uh, strong, uh, able to defend uh, our, our great country, our freedoms and our rights. And um, that means that we need somebody like a Pete Hegseth to come in and, and actually straighten this mess out. And binding uh, Pete Hegseth with this particular bill didn't make sense to me. Uh, I voted no. I'll keep you posted.